Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy Thursday, I hope you're doing okay. Actually, you know, I hope you're doing real swell. I know it has been hot as balls all over the world, especially in the UK, I hope you guys are doing okay. I heard today somewhere that the UK, somewhere in the UK that you only have between one and 3% of you have air conditioning. Holy shit. So I hope you're doing okay out there and staying cool as much as you can and just getting over this huge heat wave. Everybody else, it's hot everywhere. It's insanity. So just, you know, stay cool if you can. Today we're covering Doug Hurdy Dozen. Your favorite and mine, I don't really know who they are, but a bunch of stuff will come up my docket. Reddit has some good stuff and I got a video I'm gonna uh, talk about. These people are like exploding all over the place. Like their snark forums are exploding. Everybody's talking about them. Of course it's child exploitation. Of course it is. People were wondering when I was gonna get to it. I had them on my docket for a little while and I guess it's time to give you what you want. Snark week is coming up next week. So we gotta, you know, start compiling a couple more snark videos and all that stuff. Not sure if I'm gonna snark on these people, but I'm definitely gonna talk about their exploitation today and the video that she has out there. We're gonna start with her like what they're kind of all about. And then we're gonna talk about some of her problematic stuff and we're gonna be like, what? And you're gonna be like, right? I told you, Josh. I'm like, you're right, I know. Thanks for sending it to me. Let's get to it. Mm. That's the lemonade. I think Everly made that one. It's really lemony. So Doc Hurdy Dozen, Doug Hurdy, Doug Hurdy Dozen, is a family vlog on, I think they're the biggest on TikTok, but they got over 700,000 followers on YouTube as well. A big social media presence. They made lots of money all over the platforms. Okay, we're gonna take a look at that today. It's uh, this lady named Alicia and her husband's name is Josh and they've got 12 kids fostered adopted now Here's where I get confused and I'm scared to ask questions on these forums because everybody hates me Just as much as they hate the doctor he doesn't so it is what it is some people like that I cover them some of them I hate Josh. He's an a-hole and then I'm gonna snark on them myself you guys are just Douchey, but most of you are pretty awesome. This is a lot of great information on the reddit even though they hate me I'm gonna plug it head over to doc dockerty dozen on reddit lots of great information keeps getting compiled Their stories getting out there being revealed to a lot of people in the end is it exploitation? Of course it is just like crazy pieces and crazy middles um, Telling people telling the kids stories telling their medical histories and everything else But she makes her big bucks doing videos like shopping hauls and making their kids lunches and all these things where it's like 40 minutes long of her literally doing the thing and not talking and It's like millions of views on that stuff it's crazy. And again, I'm gonna go back to this and a lot of people hate me for saying it, but that's the content. If you didn't put your kids in there, if they didn't know who they were, if you didn't know their medical histories and all that kind of stuff, it would be great, right? But she doesn't, that's the problem. She doesn't, you know who her kids are, you know the medical histories. There's a lot of really problematic stuff and in the behind the scenes of this perfect looking household, I guarantee you, shit hits the fan way more than you know, way more than she'll let on, right? So it's not real. The problem is it's not real, and that makes it fake, right? I guess, yeah. And so, it, which makes it exploitation because they're showing you something that doesn't really exist, and she's making a ton of money. Don't get it twisted. So, anyway, we're gonna go quickly over our first video. This one's called Family of Four Grocery Haul, and this thing is 30 minutes long. Of course, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. We're just gonna take a quick gander through what her content normally entails, shall we? Okay. <laughs> And it is Monday. This is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 14. Oh, and I got confused. She sounds like Katie Joy, the without a Chris, without a crack. With, with, don't please don't do the crystal math. Crystal math. Um, she sounds like Katie Joy, but she's from New York State, which is like super close to me, by the way. It is raining and dreary here, and I don't know about you, but. I have to work hard on rainy and dreary days to not let it affect. She's like, Jess Fam's really older aunt. <laughs> My mood. So I decided that while we're grocery shopping today, we're gonna go pick out a beautiful bouquet of flowers to put on our dining well, room that's table. Nice. In your 15 passenger van. Remember my bags. They have like a 32 inch television in there. <laughs> Back at Wegmans. Wegmans! I don't know what Wegmans is. We don't have that here in Canada. We have things like Zares, President's Choice, 
We got like I shop at the cheap ones because like who's shopping at freaking Sobeys? Okay, that shit's expensive. People are still walking into Sobeys, and I'm like, are you a millionaire? It's just weird. You get the same damn groceries at Walmart or at the you know at the price chopper or whatever they're called as you do at Sobeys, but Sobeys charges you three times as much. Sobeys, you suck. Here's my girl. Holy shit, here's a list. Ground beef, steak, ham, turkey, roast beef, sausage, hot dogs, bacon. I'm in. I'm coming over for dinner. And I'm going to snark on your ass at your dinner table. Produce, salad bar, supplies, apple, cilantro. Holy shit, there's a big list. Muffin mix, pancake mix, syrup. Like, I feel like muffin mix, pancake mix, like, you, is this just like a, for us, like, we'll buy a muff a pancake mix from um, Costco, and that shit will last us, like, a year. <laughs> like, I kid you not, not a year, like, six months. I mean, we have a lot of kids, but not as many of them, obviously, but holy shit, so is she buying this every week? Damn! Where's the snacks? Where's the snacks at? I don't see no snacks on this list. I want some snacks. Oh, box can. Okay, muffin mix, pancake mix, syrup, granola bars, crumb cake, tostitos, salsa, queso, 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 sauce, goldfish, fettuccine, parm apple sauces, Velveeta mac and cheese. That's... Th I mean, you don't have craft. I don't think you do. Uh, mushroom. Okay, whatever. Let's Put your list sorted out by areas of the store. See, I wish my wife would do this. When I go to the grocery store, and I, do, I all the time, it's me. I'm like, please send me a list. That sh that list is not in order of the grocery store. And I'm just like, I deserve better, right? You guys agree? <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> I just... Cart one. Cart one? I guess, I mean, they got 12 kids, like 14 people you feed, okay? I feed six, generally, right? So I'm a, like less than half of that. So, But I've never taken more than one cart. I, something tells me by the end of this video, I have like five carts of food. I am going to start with drinks this week. Drinks. We are going through a lot more bottled water than usual with sports and friends over lately. Okay. Oh, that was gentle. I'm like, yeah, another one. I'm like, freaking Macho Man Randy Savage and that shit into the cart. Boom. That's how I do it. My wife. Hates shopping with me. Oh, Holy shit, how much water you found, Lady Five? 105 regular bottled waters, 80 mini bottled waters. It's a lot of plastic, man. These people's carbon footprint is bigger than the government's. That's. You guys talk about global warming, it's exploding, it's hot everywhere. Blame this family. Which effing plastic they go through. <laughs> And now nah, I think I've heard some chatter on the Reddit forums that there's something wrong with their water. So good. But you don't have to do this. All you have to do is buy those big ass jugs of water that go in the little coolers, a little dot. It's way cheaper, I think, by the way. Also, way less plastic. And everybody just gets a refillable water bottle or a cup. That is sour. 24 Fiji water. I love it, Everly. Thank you. Cheers. Let's see if that. Why? Uh, you already have water. Why are you getting expensive shit? That's enough for this week. Why does, who gets Fiji? Okay. We already need more Gatorade. Is this like something she does every week? Re requested apple juice for her lunches this week, so I'm getting that for her. And we need more cranberry grape juice. You ever heard of frozen shit? Like you just. Wow, the plastic that comes out of this house already. Look, I'm not, I, we are, we actually are pretty big recyclers and it happened kind of late in life. We recycle everything, even put our food, like our wasted food, in a paper bag in our freezer until garbage day. And then we put it in our green bin. We keep it frozen because we don't want to get flies and stuff. So like we have started recycling everything. We went from having like six bags of garbage a week, okay, to two. Just because we started really, really f Focusing in on our 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 plot our on our carbon footprint and things that we're putting out there. So damn these people probably recycle Our ginger ale went missing so I'm grabbing that. That's the best in the world by the way Canada dry Just So you're aware for this week's float challenge And they have Alex's sparkling ice in stock this week And we need more paper plates and bowls. Oh my god is this family doesn't use plates and shit? Like, I get it's like, 
It's like a prison mess in there. Like, why are you using all throwaway disposable shit? Sorry, you guys, that is that is not good. I, like, I get that you're a large family, but you have 12 kids that can do dishes. Like, they don't they didn't have chores? Like, you rotate every night at someone else's turn to do dishes? Like, that is a huge pile of garbage. What, the, do they have a dumpster at their house? If you're new here, it's because our septic tank is broken and until we get hooked up to the sewer system of our town, we have to conserve our water usage. Oh, okay. Really? You have, you're not connected to the sewer system of your town? You have a well? Like, what have you been doing before this? Like, I know people are going to be like, Josh, you don't watch them, so you're, you're so uneducated. Do your effing research. Okay, like, I'm sorry. So, this is what we're doing in the meantime. Yeah, I'm sure, in the meantime. <laughs> and plastic forks. Some forks. Oh, my God. And cups. Like, you can't just watch cutlery? Just can't watch cutlery? Our cups? Like, I mean, uh, damn, man. What a waste of money. And these mini bowls for the kids' snacks. That filled up cart one pretty fast. So I'm going to leave that up front and go get another cart. Someone's like, what's this? And then just put it all away. <laughs> you imagine. Cart two. Chips. So we requested a snack sleeve. Hey, that shit wasn't on your list, lady. So, sorry. Size Ritz crackers. But they're delicious, not gonna lie, they are. So, so I'm getting those for her. I also need the regular Ritz crackers mm -hmm. for my daily. Buttery deliciousness, man. You cannot beat Ritz. You put anything on them shits, okay? Cheese Whiz, peanut butter, Nutella. Cra like, you could put pickles. Straight up cream cheese. Whatever you want can go in there. I mean, anything you want, okay? Anything charcuterie boards i mean don't put rents on a charcuterie board though sorry <laughs> yeah it's like charcuterie in the trailer park we also need more cheez it's mm -hmm. but they're still out of the big boxes so. okay so cheez it's are like almost the same buttery texture crumbly of ritz but they're just cheesy hopefully they have a sure. box or a regular box it's a big ass. That's still a big ass box of cheese. It's though. Is up there. Original. I'm going to grab some of the cheese. It's snap. These are so good. Okay. Am I going to get to the other stuff? Cause this is fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm starking on this. It's fun. So maybe we'll do part two tomorrow. We need more saltines. It's just, this is awkward. One box of saltines. You have 12 kids. I mean, look how many effing crackers you have. Holy shit. And gotta get the goldfish. Agreed. You got littles. They eat the goldfish. Eight bucks. One chat. Is Wegmans your cheap grocery store or your expensive grocery store? Butter. And one rainbow. They taste the same though, by the way. Holy. Again, none of this shit was on your list. Animal crackers. Odie loves these. Oops. They're all broken. Get a different bag. Holy shit, crackers, man. Time to get some cookies. Mm -hmm. Again, not on your list, though. Vanilla wafers. Never had them. Let me know, Americans. Are those good? Looks like little balls of dough. Holy three boxes. I'm going to get some Teddy Grahams for one of the charcuterie boards this week. You do. It's not a charcuterie board then, okay? Chill, lady. You're just putting a bunch of shit on a board. It's not. You don't put Ritz and Teddy Grahams on a charcuterie board. Are you serious? I don't even know what a charcuterie board is, but I know you don't put that shit on there. Chips Ahoy. That's expensive. Like, that's what we pay. I thought America's way cheaper. Original. Candy Blasts. Candy Blasts. Reese's. Ooh, I'm in. Damn! Look, guys, I know I'm not the healthiest eater in the world, but holy shit, that's a lot of cookies. Diabetes. I don't know what our kids are. Are kids healthy sizes, or is just this how you keep them happy from not killing each other? You give them Oreos? Some Oreos. Oh my god, this is a lot of food. I'm going to do one of these. You guys want me to do a grocery haul? I'll do one with you. 
You want to see what it's like to go shopping with me? Let's do it. I'm in. I'm. I don't, I don't like this. Gotta get Breeze Muffin Bites. I what? love that Wegman says carrying the big pack now. So Ooh, I just Breeze Muffin Bites. Let me know, Americans. Are those good? Oh, just guess. Just have to get two boxes for thirty packs of muffin bites. So you need sixty muffin bites. And get the lunch chips for the week. About four of the kids like these regular lays every day in their lunch. Thirty bags of chips for four kids, spaced out over five days. That's too many chips, lady. Holy shit! Some of the kids like the Cheetos. Yeah. But not that Way one. Way better. This one, the Puff Cheetos, Cheetos, and Dorito pack. Yep. I'm in for that. Oh my god, this again, none of the shit was on your list. Did there something on the back that was all the shit that gives you diabetes? Is that was the diabetes list on the back? And I'm gonna get more donuts because that was a hit last time. Damn, those look good, I'm not gonna lie. Enter 10. End to man's softies. America, your shit's so much better than ours. I'm so jelly. That's a lot of junk food though. I'm not like, I mean, I'm just a little bit like, that's a lot of junk. Like, I think everybody should be just like, that's a little, like we all are parents, you know, we get the goldfish, you get the cookies like once a week, maybe, you know, I get the kids freezies. We do the freezies cause it just seems to be a little bit easier. Uh, but there is a lot of junk food here. Like, you know, I'm trying not to judge, but at the same time, like, holy shit, man, a lot. And I thought I was bad. Again, 12 kids, I get it. So maybe each kid gets a donut or seven. Holy shit, man. I'm gonna get some of these. Oh yeah. Yes, toast chi. I, every time I go to the States, I buy at least a thousand of those, okay? I love these things. Can't get them here. Love them. Just a perfect little snack with chocolate milk, boom. Actually, it tastes good with anything. These crackers, but they like the ones with the cheese. Not no, the peanut butter ones are better, superior. What's wrong with you? Peanut butter with Ew, the Ew, you're nasty. Hard to find. Yeah, that's gross. There they are. That's because they're gross. Don't do that. You guys sicken me. Two for five, look how cheap they are, two, two for five. Like in an apocalypse situation, if you head to Walmart, grab shit like that. Uh oh, we got a family vlogger thumb. Find. There they are. <laughs> thumb? <laughs> what is it? Is there some kind of like genetic marker for family vloggers that they have the weirdest epic thumbs you've ever seen in your life? What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like a big toe. I don't know. Oh my gosh, sorry. I am impulse buying. I don't know what it is with the thumbs. Buying these cups of cookie. Okay, that is a ripoff. $3.79 for a small cup of cookies? You already bought 13 boxes of cookies. That's a ripoff. Because I think Bodie's going to love them. So is she just shopping willy nilly for this video? Like, I hope this is what she does every week. I think she's just doing this for clicks. Because there's just no way. Like, CAS is, or CPS is going to be like, uh, we saw your grocery list. We're just going to have to, like, take some kids back or whatever. I have a question. I know you guys are gonna be mad at me, but does she show foster kids in her channel? I'd like to know. Holy shit, lady! Oh my god! Out of Velveeta mac and cheese. I'm still figuring out portioning with two extra kids in the family. We now need five. There's two extra kids now. It's not a dozen. Boxes of Velveeta mac and cheese for on what? One side at dinner. So I'm gonna get two of these three pack. Listen here, lady. <laughs> be looked at ladies something like the science needs to study your thumbs but why don't you just buy noodles okay and make a big like this is a waste of money a waste of packaging just buy noodles and make yourself apparently she's a cook or whatever There's, this is ridiculous it's all just made like it's probably even faster to make it normally with like real cheese and real butter and real like ingredients that shit is like one molecule away from plastic. It's delicious. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like she's wasting a lot of money. And again, the, the, the carbon footprint is enormous. 
I'm gonna do the other one videos tomorrow. I'm gonna do this whole video. I'm gonna judge her whole grocery haul. And you're here for it. And cart two is Holy full. Holy shit. I've never had more than one full cart. And I have, I feed six people. So, oh my God. So, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, if you get a certain amount of snacks, if the snacks are gone, they're gone, right? You don't have to do it so that there's like, everybody gets a massive amount of fill of snacks. You just get a few snacks. When the snacks are gone, them shits are gone. Get an apple, okay? Get something else. The snacks are gone, bitches. They're gone. So she, it feels like the kids freak out when they don't have their snacks. So she gets like an enormous amount of snacks. So there's like so much snacks. That is one entire cart full of like, Massive snacks and I, again, I'm a snack guy. I love snacks, but I just feel like it's not true that she does this, this is I think is all a lie so Let's get another cart. Oh God, have you ever been to Costco and she's go to Costco or Sam's Club I Feel like she's just again. This, this is why I think it's a lie because if you're gonna get bulk shit Why would you go to a grocery store? Cart three just, They still don't have the large jars of prego that I like so I'm gonna just get a bunch of these Wegman Regu, I heard Regu's good. We get we don't get Regu in Canada, but one I found it the other day. Big jar of it. I heard Regu's good. Brands, brands, marineras, these are really good. It's twelve cans of pasta. Why fettuccine when spaghetti when spaghetti is a very superior brand of noodle? Spaghetti is good. Here's a trick if you guys are wondering when you make spaghetti, okay? I don't like mine al dente. I like my noodles soft and just like wormy, right? When you're done cooking your noodles, you sift it out, okay? You get your hot noodles in your bowls and you can just, I always make tons of leftovers. Get a big old bin, you fill it with cold water, you put your noodles in cold water, it stops them from cooking. And then when you pull them out of the fridge for later, you just put them shits in a microwave real quick and it's just like, just like they just came out of the pot. So just use cold water to stop the process of the noodle cooking. Oh, she did get spaghetti, okay. Here we go. Imagine like people looking at her, why is she holding the phone? We are out of gravy. Zoe likes to have some around. We don't we do not have home style turkey gravy here. You lucky bastards. To grab for mashed potatoes as a snack. To grab for mashed potatoes as a snack. A snack. Get here's the thing. Ready? Get yourself an apple. Some celery. Cheese. Why don't you give your kids, like, I'm not saying don't give your kids healthy, like, I'm not saying don't give your kids, like, delicious, awesome snacks, because that's great, but maybe just on the weekend? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, jug in, I'm not the guy who makes the best decisions ever, but man, I thought I was bad, and I'm not then, I guess, compared to this. But, like, get your kids some really good snacks. I don't know. Look, none of that shit's on that list! I get the tuna fish for the week. Oh my god, that is an eight-pack of tuna. Just call it tuna, I'll call it tuna fish. And our jar of strawberry jelly for the week. One jar? I have had the same jar of jelly in my fridge for 10 years. I don't want to open it. I'm scared. We are all out of honey. I like this wild and raw honey. And Jason likes the one in the little bear container. Yeah, this is better. He likes honey as a snack. He'll just eat a spoonful of it. Ew! No! You know what honey's good for, though? If you've got a sore throat and you're a singer and you got like raw voice, honey, boom, that coats your shit. But honey is not, like me, I put the honey in, I'm like, it makes me gag. Like honey's nasty. It's supposedly healthy for you too. Supposedly. Is it? Okay. Yeah. People are walking by, why, who's she talking to? We get our jar of mayonnaise for the week. See, I, I, I do probably believe that they probably pound an entire jar of mayonnaise a week, for sure. If they're making 8,000 tuna fish sandwiches, um, again, why are you not going to Costco, lady? Is she being sponsored by Wegmans? And the ketchup for the week. One? Okay, that's better. Three, okay. I was going to say, Westy goes through one of those a week, so I believe it. Westy puts ketchup on everything. Okay. I saw dill relish when I was Ooh, getting the ketchup. Ooh, love me some dill. So I'm gonna get that. Josh loves dill relish. She knows me. It's kind of weird though. 
Okay, so there's way more pasta sauce than I thought. This is what you go through in a week? Again, you're not feeding in the military. You're not feeling like, you're not feeding an entire football team, are you? More of the little travel peanut. Whoa, 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 what was that peanut butter in a bag? Butters for snacks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Try not to look at it. What happened? Did you smash it with a hammer or something? And I saw they have 3D Doritos back in stock. These I've never had those. I wonder if they're good. They're probably good. I love Doritos. They're so good. I'm going to get them for James. Two bags just... of Doritos for one kid. That's... <laughs> okay, maybe he's a runner. Discovered yesterday how the twins are going through the queso so fast. Oh, this is queso. I love this stuff. Every time they want queso, they're opening a new jar of it. And the old jar is getting lost in the back of the fridge. <laughs> okay. So I'll have to talk with them about that. So it's not buying it for them. Three jars of cheese. Tostitos. Again, she said Tostitos on her list, but not in the other shit. This is the only thing that's been on our list so far. Oh my God. I'm going to get three different kinds of muffin mix this week. Okay, so the crusties is the only thing we have in the st in Canada is the pancake mix at Costco, and it is the best pancake mix on earth, by the way. And use one of my new giant muffin pans to cook them all at the same time. I'm so excited. Okay. You're gonna cook muffins like sort of from like still from a mix. Does this woman not make anything from like? Scratch at all? Like at all? Oh my god. And two boxes of crumb cake for oh Saturday's god. breakfast. I want some. Guess what I forgot to get at Costco on Friday. You went to Costco on Friday and this is what you're getting at the grocery store now? Oh my god. Yeah. All of the baking stuff I meant to get. I'm sure. You know, doesn't look like you looks like you bake from a box there amateur What are you making with that Pumpkin pie with semi-sweet chocolate chips No lie though, Westy, when he loves pumpkin pie, but he only eats the filling, so he'd probably eat that whole can of filling. I'm gonna get some apple sauces for packing lunches this week. I still have the pouches left, so I don't need to get those this week. I haven't gotten pop tarts in a while, so I'm gonna grab some of those. Wrong ones. Strawberry better. Strawberry better. Holy shit, that's a big box of pop tarts. Oh my god. We love our chocolate dipped granola bars, so I need two boxes of those for the two week. Two boxes? You're getting two boxes? How many? Okay, you've got 12 kids. There's 36 in there. Eek. Stop. Oh my god. Your camera's garbage. 20, 26 in there, I think. How many do you give your kids? One a day. That's five. So 12, yeah, okay, so it's right. My math is off, but does every kid eat them? I swear I bought my Nature Valley granola bars last week and I cannot find them anywhere. Cause someone ate them shits, lady. That's what kids do. So I'm buying them again. Oh my God, she's faking. There's no way she does this every week. Faker. I was saying how I am not finding anything I like for breakfast lately and somebody said to try these kind bars so i'm gonna get these they don't have the yogurt ones that they suggested but i'll try this kind okay i saw that kane brown released his own cereal this week so who? you know i gotta get who that who the hell is kane brown and why does he have a shitty cereal who is this guy america you're so weird your, your groceries are weird for him Correct who is that kane, that is exciting who is it okay Cane crunch. <laughs> so cinnamon stupid. Cinnamon toast crunch for Alex and Jason. Cookie crisp for Bodie. Fruity pebbles for Patrick and Zoe. I'm like straight up. Does somebody have diabetes in this family? Like some. This is. I. I am uncomfortable with how much sugar she feeds. Like again, 
I know this is a touchy subject for a lot of people because like I, my kids, you know, breakfast is Cheerios or it may be once in a blue moon Fruit Loops, um, but it's like egg whites. I got, okay, man, I feel so much better about my parenting after watching this because I thought I was bad and I, maybe I am bad, but like, oh my God, comparatively, it's all bad. Holy shit balls. And shredded wheat for James. <laughs> Like sugary frosted dis deliciousness. That'd be good though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. I keep forgetting to order more Hungry Jack, so I'm just gonna get another pack of this pancake milk. Yeah, the crusties. Four seventy nine for that? It's like twelve bucks here. For the week. For the week? Again, that bag right there that you see lasts my family six months. How many pancakes do we make a day? And more syrup. D this cart is nearly full, but I can still fit the toiletries. So let's head over there. This is amazing. This is going to be like $1,200. Okay, I don't care about toiletries. I'm fast forwarding to more food. Food. And Jace. Oh, oh, wait. I got a reflex med. So I'm going to get two of those. And Jason's reflex med. You think? You think your kids have reflux meds? Because look what you're feeding them. Yeah, they have acid reflux. That fills up cart three, so I'm going to leave that up front with the other two. Grab my list. Can you imagine her pulling up to the checkout? They're like, oh my God, it's Alicia. <sighs> Part four, and we are going to brighten up this dreary rainy day with the most. I'm sure you needed to spend twelve bucks on flowers. Sure. Perfect bouquet of flowers. She can pick the tackiest ass flowers. So you watch. I can't even decide. They all look amazing. Grocery store flowers. Oh my God! Pick some flowers. She's gonna go for those ultra color ones. Look this like a funeral. Catching my eye. Yeah, I think wow. so. It's fresh meat. All right, let's get over to the other shit. Meat for, meat for the week. Oh, not hot sausage. James would not eat hot sausage. Gotta get mild. We still I mean, have I some guess bacon it's... at home, so I'm just going to get two pounds today. Six pounds of ground beef for Kate. Six pounds. Sidious on Tuesday. Six pounds of ground beef for one meal for 12 people. Sorry. That's too much ground beef, man. Maybe, maybe three pounds. How much beef do you need in a taco? In one week, a month, we grill steak. Four days, we grill night. And that is this week. Four ribeye steaks, two packages of cutlets. Shit looks gross. Not even marbled. Four strip steaks, and I know I have some. Oh my god! In freezer at home. Good lord, that card alone is four hundred dollars. See, look at the prices. This is the fettuccine I was talking about. It's fresh made. Um, it doesn't stick together like the boxed fettuccine does. Whenever I make fettuccine alfredo. When. Of course, I just remembered I did not eat lunch. Gotta get my reps. <laughs> we are doing a salad bar for dinner tonight, but with horseback riding, I don't have time to grill chicken. So I'm gonna buy some pre- $20 a pack. Oh my God. Chicken. I hope these people don't go out to eat, because imagine how much it costs for these people to go out to eat. Like, if they just went to, like, McDonald's, it'd be $175. No, it'd be, like, 200 bucks. And some nice bread to go with our salad bar. Salad. Salad. Oh, my God. I'm going to get the rest of the bread for the week while I'm in this aisle. That means... Are you going to get the rest of the bread while you're in the bread aisle? Wow. You're a planner. Crazy. You're crazy. Means six packages of hot dog buns. <laughs> we need three packages for meatball subs, and we need three packages for lunch on Saturday where we're grilling sausage and hot dogs. Oh my god. So much! 
how much these kids eat, man. I guess I have teenagers. I get it. Damn, that's heartbreaking. I'm honestly not sure how much bread we're going to go through in a week now. With Nebea and Deshaun switching to our school district, I will be packing 12 lunches a day. 12 sandwiches a day. I oh can get God. more on my Thursday recess. Get a damn bright bread oven or whatever they're called. Bread, bread baker. Stock if we run out. Oh my God. You know bread. we love our Hawaiian rolls in our house. Gotta get those. Are they good? You guys let me know. Are they delicious? We don't have those. King's Hawaiian. What does it taste like? The tropics? And I'm trying to find the pizza crusts that we use because Friday night is make your own pizza night. Pizza night. And I'm not seeing them. Well, it's over then. There they are. I love these pizza crusts. Tomto's pizza parlor crust. Five, ten. 15 and 20. 20 pizzas. 20 pizzas for 12 people. You have little kids, right? They're not going to eat an entire pizza themselves, right? Who's eating more than one pizza? I need the bagels for breakfast sandwich day. God. She can pick up four bags of those. Two you watch. Two packages oh. of bagels is one <laughs> breakfast for us. I just saw they have Nevea Celsius in stock. I'm gonna grab one of these for her. They're not my favorite because they have caffeine in them. Caffeine. <laughs> okay. Okay, dear. But there's worse things in life. So Yeah, I like exploiting your children for money. That's worse. I've been teaching her moderation. She can have one a day. I don't want shouldn't be giving kids caffeine. Sorry, that's stupid. I'm gonna put anything on top of the bread, so I'm gonna leave this cart up front and go get another one. Somebody's walking by. Is this for like an orphanage or something? Oh my god, lady. Five carts. Okay, you didn't have to show the walk. For sandwiches this week. Hot dogs That's it? for lunch on Saturday. I'm going to get extra because you know our house. There could be extra people here. You're combining. 16. 32 hot dogs. Our weekly five pounds of shredded cheddar. You eat five pounds of cheese a week? Holy shit. Does anybody take a dump in your house ever? I guess it saves on toilet paper. How do you flush your toilet if you have no water? They only have sharp cheddar in stock. They don't have mild, but oh well. It'll sharp superior anyway. Have to do. And five pounds of shredded mild. Ten pounds of cheese. That's almost a pound a person. A pound of cheese per person in the house. A pound of cheese. Tortillas for Tuesdays. Holy shit, man, a pound of cheese? I ate a pound of cheese once, damn. <laughs> I'll never forget that moment. Wow, this lady's crazy. Good to see you, creepy mega baby. It's been a while. Holy shit, man. Butter for the fettuccine Alfredo sauce. Oh, that's the only homemade thing she's making? Okay. And cream cheese for the Alfredo sauce. Four bucks of cream cheese! It's not the healthiest sauce. <laughs> you think? Not the healthiest anything! A pound of cheese per person! Ooh, cinnamon rolls. Oh, you better get six of those. Holy shit, lady. You already bought a whole bunch of shit. Just two? Still have bricks of cheese left, but we need some. You have 10 pounds of cheese in your cart right now. 10 pounds of cheese. You don't need it. You don't need any. Take it from me. You don't need any more cheese, Alicia. For the love of God. Stop. Sliced cheese. Time for yogurt. I need Patrick's. I mean, why not? SpongeBob Gogurts. Look at the size of that box of yogurt. Jordan has been eating these lately too. America. Yo Crunch yogurts for Dash, Brie, Zoe, mm -mm. Bodie. That shit's bad. And Harley, they don't like the strawberry ones. Oh, Ooh. they don't like the natural tasting one with the M and M's. I get it. I get it. Like the vanilla ones. Just tell your kids tough bananas. Get an apple. Learned that the hard way. I 
Alex's. Heat yogurts, there they are. Alex takes a dermatology medicine every day, and his dermatologist likes him. Thanks for telling us what medicine they take. To eat a yogurt every day, it's a counteract the dermatology medicine that he takes. I got a oh, room shit. in the cart for one. Six dollars for a gallon of Tropicana! Juice. Get the frozen shit, lady! And 1% milk. Remember... Oh, okay. So funny. It's like rolling up to McDonald's. Can I gonna get two double Big Macs, extra sauce, extra, extra sauce, the extra super large McFries, huge apple pie, ice cream, and everything else, and a Diet Coke, please. That's what that is. That's the Diet Coke to her grocery list. 1%? Well, you think it's gonna count or anything? Get the 3.5%. Always look at the dates, May 22nd. May 29th, I'm... Why does it matter, the dates? That your kids are gonna drink that shit before he even leaves the car. Going with May 29th. Four gallons of that. I need heavy whipping cream for the fettuccine. The cereal? Potato. Oh. Have you guys ever had, like, 10% cream in cereal? Don't do it. Do it. Like, do it. <laughs> and they have our creamer in stock. So I'm gonna grab a few of those caramel muffins. A few. A few. Look at the size of that. So good. Love a little coffee. Look at the size of that thing. Be with my creamer. And then I need almond milk. Almond? Almond milk? It's almond milk. Okay. Almond milk. Oh my god, they sell those. That's those Westy drinks. They sell that in the gallons? <gasps> Four gallons of milk and then two gallons of almond milk? And chocolate almond milk. What are you gonna do, lady, when your shit gets canceled? You're 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 setting your kids up to be like, what are you eating this? What happens if you guys lose everything? Oh my god. If you've never tried this, it literally tastes like a milkshake. It is so good. Oh my god, where do you put this shit? Do you have a truck at your house? I gotta see this lady's fridge. I gotta see the fridge. I am out of only frozen veggies, so I'm going to get a five pound bag of corn and a five pound bag of peas. Ew, peas. I'm dangerously close to fast forwarding. Oh. Yeah, I gotta I see the person when she checks out. So I'm gonna get a five pound bag of broccoli. I love how she packs in like so much bullshit and then like one bag of vegetables. That's a big ass bag of vegetables, not gonna lie. And the meatballs for meatballs so nice. Make your own meatballs. Homemade meatballs? Yes. Yes, I could. Could I simplify my life and just buy frozen meatballs? Yes. Full of shit and toxins? Yeah, you can do that too, I suppose. Yes, I will. Probably good though. We are out of our breakfast sausage, so I'm gonna get a few bags of that. And cart five is full. I'm Tell me you're done. I'm going to leave this up front. I cannot believe this is going to be a six cart shopping trip. Holy shit, what else do you need, lady? Where have you not been yet? Where are you going next? Ice cream? Why do you have help? You have 12 kids. Nobody can help you? Time to get the produce. Oh, okay. These strawberries look amazing today. They're not. The big ones are gross. The big ones, Driscoll's, we get those here too from Mexico. Nope. You want good strawberries? The little field strawberries are the best tasting strawberries on earth. Those are made in the greenhouse. They do not have the same flavor. Okay. They're good. Don't get me wrong. I love strawberries, but those are not it. Perfect. First try, it's gonna be a good day. Yep. Okay. Oops, sorry, knocked that over. Two things of strawberry. That's it? You're gonna get 48 bags of muffins, but two things of strawberries. And one thing of blueberries. Here's a thing of blueberries, a watermelon. I still have no idea how to pick out a good watermelon, so we'll just go with this one. No, I'll go with the greener one. And hope it's a good one. It won't be. That's a shitty watermelon you picked up. Bell peppers. For what? What are you putting that on? Cucumbers. Yeah, cucumbers are expensive, man. Ours are 99 cents. 
Shit, man. I'm going to get two things of grape tomatoes, one for the salad bar tonight, and one for Taco Tuesday. Quesadillas tomorrow. Okay, it's not Taco Tuesday if it's quesadillas. That's cultural appropriation or something. I'm going to get a few sliced mushrooms for the salad bar tonight. Ew, mushrooms. Ooh. It's like earlobes. And my house is completely out of apples. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they are. They're like, go get an apple. They go apple, they throw it to the neighbor's yard. I'm going to grab a thing of empire. Yep, looks good. Again, that's all you should be buying. <laughs> go have an apple. <laughs> Everybody knows what I'm talking about, right? Your parents. I can have I'm, I'm good. Go have an apple. And drink okay. drink water if you're hungry. A bag of honey crisp. Ooh, honey crisp, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, I don't okay, I know that you have to, there's 14 people in this house. This is this is food for what the month then? Because there's just no way that you could consume this much food, even 12 people. I'm sorry. That's so much food. Again, I have six people here. And often friends and over and girlfriends and everything else. There's just a, so much food. That's why this is not real. I'm also going to get a few of the Granny Smith apples. I'm sure you will. I'm simplifying life and getting the pre-made salad bags for our salad bar tonight. Thank you, Wegmans. <laughs> Wegmans. Celery. And my last onions went bad really fast. Because you don't need them. So I already need. So why don't you buy another big ass bag of onions that'll go bad? A new bag of onions. Smart. How do I make these not go bad? So buy less. Yeah. Okay. Fast. We have been going through a ton of bananas now that the kids are swimming. Almost every day, they love to run in and grab a banana. See, this is it. Get 4,000 bananas, not 4,000 pieces of junk food. In between swimming. So I'm probably going to need six bunches of bananas to last us the next three days. And that'd be like 88 cents for all those. Two. So it's a healthy snack, good for swimming, good for, you know, building up energy. The kids love it. Get them. Again, there's so much food here. How do they, there's just, I can't even, I, I, I dare you, Alicia, to set up like a time lapse of your kitchen and show me all this food going out. I, and, and show me healthy kids after that. Cause I don't think so. God. I'm going to grab a few more things for our salad. You already have peas. For tonight, a little bag of peas. I love sprouts. And salt potatoes for steak and potato night on Wednesday. What's a salt potato? Hey. Are they salted? Two bags of potatoes. They're small bags. I'll allow it. Perfect. I'm, it's $1,500 now. Done. And she went to Costco already. For today, I'm going to head to checkout. Oh, show me the person. Please show me the person. Everybody behind you like, uh, are you okay? Are you guys living in the forest for the rest of your lives? Is there an apocalypse coming? Is there something I don't know? I love this Wegmans. They totally spoil me. They check me out so fast. Well, you're spending two grand there a week, apparently. So, yeah, they better. Still raining. You didn't show me the pissed off look. Holy, you all right there? You all right? Looks like you need some bananas in your life. But I wore a shirt with a hood, so it's all good. It's all good. Who put, where's the groceries? I'm going to drive over. Pick oh, they're going to the put them in there for you. Do I want? Why didn't she show me the bill? I want to see the bill. Thank goodness for that. Crisis of burden. That's a seventy-five thousand dollars van. I gotta or go more. over. Switch the laundry at the laundromat. Drive. What? 
Oh, it's because they have no water, right? That's the whole thing. They have to do their lawn. Again, how do you flush the toilet if you have no water? What's... Where do you live? Off grid in the forest? I had to pick up Nevaeh and Deshaun from school. This should be my last day, I think, driving two school districts over to pick them up. Um, don't do it. You don't need any. You don't need any more. I am currently obsessed with this lipstick from Mary Kay. No, I don't sell. I'm on file. Sell Mary Kay. Uh, what's it called? It's like. Mm -hmm. It like brings out the natural pigments in Does your it? lip tint, whatever. Like, see, yeah. it's clear. Anyways, I love it. See? Just drive, lady. So cute. Holy shit! She has seven hundred thousand subscribers. What am I missing, man? I'm doing a grocery haul. I'm gonna go viral with the Josh's grocery haul. You guys, I'm going viral. It's about time. I'm gonna show you what we get. The barber house. Oh my god, what was the bill? Oh, here we go. Um, we're hitting summer mode where friends are constantly coming over to go swimming. Go, 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 go. And that equals more food and more drinks and more consumption. Go, 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 go. So, yeah. What did I say? 1500 Why well, have no tax? You have no tax? You have no tax in New York? Look, Shoppers Club Savings, four dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> I said fifteen hundred, didn't I? Now it's pretty damn close. A bit higher this week. I do they have five fridges in their house or something? Are they Mormons? Anyways, I'll do that this week. Oh. Oh, come on, come on. Guys, I was gonna go down the whole thing. She had other videos and everything else, but this just—it, I just—I needed to snark. That was crazy. She made like thousands of dollars off that video. Thousands of dollars again. All this could be what you can do if you don't exploit your children. You could easily do this, and I'd celebrate you. That's what people should be doing. But she doesn't. Damn, and you couldn't even get through one grocery haul without telling some medical information about one of your kids. You're nasty. Anyway, this is crazy. I, I, and I think it was a lie. There's just no way. She did that for the video. I don't believe that. Tell me I'm wrong about, like, look, again, not the most healthy people person on earth right try to be and i try to give my kids a healthy balanced diet and a lot of exercise but that shit was insanity right am i wrong about that am i just way off about the amount of junk food that she feeds her children like just it, it, like that is not in the food pyramid half the shit that she bought is all i'm saying i don't know i could be wrong 12 kids you got to keep them happy some way i don't know holy moly <laughs> So I guess tomorrow we'll break down those other videos because this was awesome. This is fun to snark on in her thumbs. Her thumbs, man. Them thumbs. Whatever. Take a deep breath. Breathe out the Oreos. Shit. I can't believe. <laughs> Tell me what you buy in the comments below. Like, what do you spend a week with your family? Like, do you buy that much junk food for your kids? Am I just, is it America? I don't know. Again, I feel so much better now about parenting after watching that. Just feel so much better. And don't forget, guys. Like, this is like a, a mom who exploits children and makes tons and tons of money. I didn't even go through the numbers and everything yet. We'll do that in the next video. But she makes lots of money doing this. So don't ever, oh, I feel sorry. I heard that she does Amazon wish lists and everything else. Let's get into it tomorrow. All right. You guys are amazing, valuable, beautiful. And damn, you look great today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>